This is West Ryslip Station, most commonly used for the Central Line, but less commonly also has Chiltern trains coming through it. Now as much as I would love to ride on this beautiful tube train, I enjoy doing it, but uh, yeah, not today. We're going to be using the Chiltern services, including the only station in London that I'm aware of that gets an, well, so-called infrequent service. So it should be pretty fun. Let's make our way over to the Chiltern platforms. Yeah, here we are, the uh, Chiltern Railways platforms. I've actually never really properly ridden with Chiltern before, with the exception of going from like Marlborough to Wembley Stadium before, but I've not really done an extended trip with them before. So it should be interesting. Wait a second, the ticket machines, they make... They make the same noise as the northern ones. Huh, nice. I'm aware that's a very niche and strange thing to get excited over, but it's, it's a nice little taste of home, I like it. <laughs> oh yeah, these are definitely very similar to the northern ticket machines. I mean, you can't buy Rangers and Rovers from them, but still, it's nice. So anyway, the first train we're getting out of here is the 1443 to Marlebone, and we'll be going one stop there to South Ryslip. Sear Green, Beckham Sealia. and Oh. This train is formed of two So Northern isn't the only the TOC that uses her as the announcer. I'm assuming, and this is my theory, is the fact that because Chiltern is owned by Arriva and Northern a few years ago was owned by Arriva, the, the like, ticket machines and the announcer systems were all put in place for Northern during their Arriva era. So that would, for me, that would explain the similarities. And yes, unelectrified railway in London does not feel quite right. Hmm, feels like these trains haven't been refurbed in a good while. I'd say like late 90s or something, by the looks of things. Ah, okay, 2003. Yeah, fair enough. In an odd way though, I kind of like it. So, time to get out at South Rice Slip and oh, looks like it's raining. Oh crikey, where did this come from? Jeez, ah, getting in the shelter, good God. Well, this is fun. I am stuck in a complete monsoon by the looks of things. There's water everywhere. I. Wow, wow. This happened in about two minutes. Like, just... Okay, well I've waited a few minutes for the rain to die down a bit. Uh, it, it has a bit, but it's still quite in full force. To add insult to injury, I found out that, um... I got off at the wrong stop. I was meant to go to North Hall Park. Not South Ryslip. <laughs> so now I've got to somehow fix that and still get them in time for the 1637 out of Sudbury and Harrow Road. I might be able to make it work. We'll find out. All right, well, time to consult the good old TFL go. Oh my God, look at this. This is ridiculous. This was all in the last like few minutes. Anyway, let's get myself to North Holt Park. If I can get there in the next um, oh god, typing through the screen is not great. If I can get there in the next, like, hour, then that would be grand. What can I do in this scenario? Oh! Okay, I can go to North Holt and then get the bus. Ooh, using the super loop as well, okay. That could work. Oh my god. This is... <laughs> what on earth happened? Like, I'm sure it was a bit overcast earlier, but... What on earth? Well, it appear I uh, may have lied, and we actually will be doing some central line riding today. <laughs> Due to my own idiocy. Okay, okay. Oh my god, right. Okay, 
to Northolt. This video is so scuffed already, oh my god. Rule one though, always keep the camera rolling, because you never know what could happen. Rightio, let's head outside and try and find the bus stop. Super looped to the rescue, oh my god. <laughs> it's very crowded though, it's a bit hard to film. And also my camera lens is fogging up, which is not great either. So I'm assuming super loop compared to the normal buses is an express one? As in it goes like straight from here to oh, North Old Park as opposed to having a few stops. That's cool. Okay, I believe North Old Park station is coming up in a minute. This is so scuffed. Alright then, well thank you Superloop. It was actually my first ever time riding the Superloop. <laughs> And it was very humid and cramped because I guess a lot of people actually wanted to get the bus because of the torrential rain. Seems to have stopped now though, thankfully. So anyway, let's get to Northport Park Station. We should still be on target. Did have to make a slight plan change because of my own stupidity, but we should be okay. Oh look, Old Network Southeast. Station totem, how cool. Apparently it's um a five minute walk down this path to North Old Park Station. It'll be the longest walk from a totem to the actual platforms that I'm aware of anyway. Oh, okay, now it's two minutes? That was the shortest three minute walk of my life. Ah, oh, okay. North Old Park, great. I, none of the departure screens or this machine are even working. I, I'm going to have to look at Google Maps or something for my train times. So for any of you wondering, my original plan was to go to North Holt Park from West Ryslip first, double back to South Ryslip, make I just got dripped on. Make my way to, what's it called? Sudbury and Harrow Road, um, where I'd then get one of the few trains a day it gets, take that to Sudbury Hill Harrow, um, and then I'd finish there. But now I've kind of messed that up. I'm gonna have to take this to, I don't know, I can take this to Sudbury Hill Harrow, then maybe Piccadilly Line to Sudbury and Harrow Road, because they're not far from each other. The two station, well, the station that's nearest to it on the Piccadilly Line. That could work. You know what, I'll try that. Oh, this platform does have a waiting shelter. Wonderful. It's a bit flooded, but still, at least the seats are dry. I can actually sit down for a bit. So I believe I have about 25 minutes until the next train to Marlebone, which will go to Sudbury Hill Harrow and we'll take it there. Don't lie on these benches. It's surprisingly painful. All right, yes, 25 minutes later, we're finally back on a train. Hurrah. So it's a fairly short hop to Sudbury Hill Harrow, it's only a couple of minutes. Um, and then we can make our way to the Piccadilly Line to get to Sudbury and Harrow Road, the infrequently served one. Oyster and contactless payment card users. I've noticed both um, GWR and Chiltern use 165s, but the GWR ones have openable windows, whereas the Chiltern ones don't, they're just solid panels. I wonder why that is. Okay, Sudbury Hill Harrow, where, yes, you can change for the Piccadilly line. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, I think it's to the right out of the exit. I hope. Right, so we need to go to Sudbury Town, which is, yep, one stop eastbound. Cool. All right, six minutes until a train to the place with the funny name. And then we'll be at, well, 
almost, at the uh, infrequently served station. a lot of talk about minding the step down onto the platform. It's not very often though that you have to mind the step up onto the platform. <laughs> There's something quite charming about the outer tube stations, they're really quite nice. Okay, I'm pretty sure the station is like here. Yeah, I see the sign now. Okay, Sudbury and Harrow Road. London's, to my knowledge, London's least served railway station. Four trains in the morning to Marylebone, and four trains in the evening to West Ryslip. How cool. Oh yeah, I, I bought one of the tiny Cokes from Tesco, because they're, so, they're so small and funny. <laughs> Platform two as well is slightly worryingly narrow. I mean, the, the yellow line is all the way back here. There's hardly any safe platform to go on. Platform 1's a bit less bad. It's a bit wider. You can actually kind of move around a bit more. <laughs> anyway, let's wait for this uh, West Ryslip service. And let's go to Sudbury Hill Harrow. Again. Right then, off we go, to Sudbury Hill Harrow, again. Well, here we are at Sudbury Hill Harrow, because my plan were messed up. <laughs> but yeah, there we go, so we've used London's least served station in terms of rail service now. I apologise if this video was uh, rather scuffed, but uh, I, I, th I think I managed to bring it back somewhat. I hope. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, like and subscribe would be appreciated. Greatly be appreciated. No, be great. Whatever. Would be greatly appreciated, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And of course, a massive shout out to all my patrons and channel members listed on screen now. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.